Well, while we're here in St. George, I thought it might be interesting to talk about a couple of drought-resistant plants. This one here in particular is called Apache Plume. As you can see, it's just starting to break dormancy and start to grow. Uh, this is a really nice plant uh, for several reasons. Uh, it's one that you can basically ignore if you have an area like that in your yard that you don't get around to. Uh, it'll grow just fine without very much attention. Um, this plant starts off with this nice foliage this time of year and as it grows a little bit further it'll have a really nice papery type of white flower that it produces. Uh, as it gets later then into the fall and the winter it will drop its leaves and it kind of has this appearance here, this dry appearance with the dry twigs. It's at that point between winter and it coming out again the next spring that if you want you can cut it back such as this bush here has been uh, trimmed. You can see the top's been trimmed back and it's been thinned out a little bit. This will make it more compact. When it regrows uh, the flowers and the foliage will look a little bit nicer and a little bit more even. Uh, if we didn't trim it and just let it go, it would get a little taller. It may start to fall over one way or the other, uh, but it will still grow. It will still be relatively healthy. Uh, again, this is one of our native plants in Utah. Uh, we'll see this plant. Uh, it has quite a, w a wide range from north to south part of the state and does very well with uh, very little water once it's established. Uh, within several years, you could probably completely turn the water off of it. It won't look quite this nice, of course but it will be able to grow and survive without additional water once it's established. The other plant that I wanted to show you today is called Baccarus. You can see that this is more of a, a green, uh, almost uh, ferny-like plant in some respects. Um, this particular one is starting to have some little flower heads come out on it. Some of the newer varieties uh, are all male and they don't have the flowers, they just have the green foliage. Uh, but the Baccarus and particularly the, uh, the Thompson or Starn variety they refer to it as sometimes uh, is one that's got a very dark green foliage, uh, doesn't grow too rapidly. Um, this one is not a native of Utah but we're using it a lot in St. George landscapes. It's sort of become our new uh, bush if you will for hedges. Uh, this one is relatively young, just a few years old. As this gets to be probably five or six years old it'll get taller and it'll spread wider and in some areas they're planting these together to actually form a hedge. Um, again like many of our dry or drought tolerant plants if you um, keep it trimmed it will look nice and full like this if you let it grow completely uncontrolled without any trimming it'll start to die inside a little bit and turn brown and that's just the nature of the plant. Um, so not every year but certainly every two or three years a little bit of trimming rejuvenate some growth, get some new growth started down here in the center and push out. We'll kind of cover up some of the older dry growth that looks a little bit twiggy like on the inside. So again this is Baccarus. Um, you can find it in nurseries down through this area. Uh, one caution about this plant though is it's a it's a zone 8 plant so much north of St. George this will not survive well. So it's a true desert type plant and uh, will do well probably in southern Utah but not so well in uh, central and northern Utah. Another nice plant uh, we've just started to begin using in the St. George area in the last two or three years is Santalina. Santalina is this bright green bush here. Uh, even though it's just uh, late March, early April, you can see it's already come out and started to make lots of new growth. Um, it will retain this nice green color all summer and here in just a few weeks time we'll have some small flowers that will emerge here across the top. Uh, some varieties the flowers are yellow, other varieties they're more of a greenish color. Uh, again it's, a, it's quite a drought tolerant plant and uh, takes the heat in St. George quite well. I've seen this plant bloom well into midsummer and it will start to have some blossoms on it again in the fall. So again this is Santalina.